Greetings, friends, and welcome to Enigma Night Gaming. My name is Liara, and I will be your guide in today's adventure. Today, we are playing Escape from Monkey Island. Last time when we played, we uh, identified who it was that actually robbed the bank, and we captured him. But it wasn't good enough for the police, so we have to find the loot. So we went back to Ozymandro because he was the one we saw talking to Pegnose Pete and we followed him out to this little island and that's where we're going to pick up today trying to investigate whatever is out here. So let's see what is even out here, if anything. Uh, shallow water. It's pretty shallow here. I can see the dirt on the bottom easily. All right. So we got shallow water. Uh, not so shallow water. It's not so shallow here. I can just make out the bottom. Hmm. Okay. What else we got? Trees? They're very tropical. Okay. Hey, there's a hidden passage back here. That must be where Ozzy disappeared to. Uh-huh. All right. Well, then, let's go. Okay. What do we have here? Look at booty. What an odd collection of junk. There doesn't actually seem to be all that much valuable stuff in here. All right. Uh, we got a lot of skulls here. What kind of twisted freak keeps the skulls of his victims lying in piles around his showroom? I bet he wasn't hugged much as a child. <laughs> Probably not. Look at the button. Don't this push button the button. Practically screams, push me. Don't push the button. Of course, we're gonna push. It. Ah. Hey, that looks like the Lucre Town Bank's missing loot and the Marley heirlooms. I've got to find a way to get in there. Hmm. Okay. What do we got? Um. Police stock wow. bar. Wow. Wonder if Elena let me have one of these. <laughs> All right. Can we do anything with this? Like this cup here? It doesn't look like it. The bank booty and the Marley heirlooms are in the cavern on the other side of this unbreakable window. Unbreakable window. All right. So how do we get out the unbreakable window? Is there a way to do so? Let's look at the table. Ick. Dirty dishes. For a master thief, Pegnos is a real slob. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Was there more than one button, or was it just that button? Because there's this button, too. This button practically screams push me. I already opened the drapes. Oh, OK. So they're different, then? Are they the same, I suppose? Um, yeah, OK. I thought maybe there might be one on both sides. Um, do we have anything in our inventory that we could use? Can we, like, throw? the manhole cover like through the window <laughs> let's see um aw no good okay what else do we have um hmm so not necessary what if we keep doing it like will it do anything different I guess not. Okay. So, do we need to get something to break through the unbreakable window? Let's see if we can look at... Go ahead and put that up, my guy. Alright, put that aside. Let's look at the window. Maybe it'll give us another the hint. The bank booty and the Marley heirlooms are in the cavern on the other side of this unbreakable window. Okay. Unbreakable window, huh? Talk. Murray? Skull? Oh, Guess is it? Aw. Can we can we pick it up? I've already got a skull. Murray? <laughs> I've already Guess got not. a skull. Okay. All right. Let's see. Um, can we maybe swim under the water? I wonder. Like, uh, dive into deep water. Let's see. Because we can hold our breath for 10 minutes, so, you know. Let's see. We got some glowy fish. Can we pick those up? I wish those fish would come over here so I could see something. Um, do we have anything they might want? Would they be attracted by the lightly gnawed prosthetic hand? 
With what? Um, on the fish? Maybe not. All right. Maybe we can capture them in our scupperware. What are we even walking on? All right, let's see. We're just gonna look at it's something. Something. It's too dark to see. All right. Can we... Let's see if we can capture them. All right. I don't think the fishies are gonna just swim into an empty scupperware container without some incentive. Probably not. Okay. Wait, what was that? I saw something. For just a moment. Alright. I don't think the fishies are gonna just swim into an empty scupperware container without some incentive. But we don't have anything, do we? Okay, so we may need to find, like, some bait, perhaps? Spray cologne? Maybe? Phew, this stuff smells bad, even for a pirate. <laughs> I wonder if I can use it, what happens if I use it on the fish? Let's see. When they come back around, I'm curious. Well, let's see what happens. Fishy, fishy. Alright, can I use it on them? It's probably too far away. I don't think they'd like that. Okay. Eh, it just says no. That's fine. Alright. Let us look around. Let's see. Can we, um... Oh. Okay, that, there, there's no way to, like... Alright, what can we do? I don't think I'll be able to catch them with my bare hands. Alright. Um... Let's see. Are we supposed to maybe use it? Let's see. I don't think that would help anything. No? Okay. What do we have? Can we use the prosthetic hand with the scupperware? I don't I mean, think that would help anything. Alright. What about the music box? Probably not. I mean, I'm just kind of grasping at straws here, but, you know. I don't think that would help anything. Alright, and what about... Um, I don't think that would help anything. Alright, what about... Use this... With the scupperware. I don't think that would help anything. Okay, well, it's worth a try. Let's see if we can find... Um, what can we find? Is there any kind of bait that we can use, I wonder? Maybe we can go to the next screen, let's see. Let's look around, wait, what was that? Oh. I wish those fish would come over here so I could see something. <laughs> Alright, we gotta figure out how to lure them over here. Let's see what we got up over here. Up, up. Um... I guess we need to head to the surface. Maybe we can find, like, some worms over here. Um, it's pretty shallow here. I can see the dirt on the bottom easily. All right, so... No, thanks. I'm not thirsty. Can we dig in here with the prosthetic hand, maybe? All right. Um, I don't think that needs a fake arm. Well, let's see. Is there any kind of fake here? Let's see. It's not so shallow here. I can just make out the bottom. Eh, no thanks. I'm not thirsty. Okay. Um, where can we get some bait then? Let's see. Would there perhaps be some in the hideout, I wonder? Let's look and see if there's anything in the in the hidden passage that we might could use. Um, we got the booty. Uh, the t table, pile of skulls, uh, probably. No way! Who knows where these skulls have been? <laughs> Other than inside somebody's head, I mean. Alright. Um, can we take no, any of the I'd booty? No, i probably get busted for possession of stolen property. Probably. Okay, hmm. Alright. Um. Alright, well... Maybe we have to get something from 
somewhere else. Let's go, let's go take a peek around if I can get out of here. Goodness gracious. Alright, where could we go? Maybe the swamp. Maybe the swamp would have... Oh wait, this is the mist. Okay, um... Can we do Mighty anything? pirates don't need to splash around in puddles. No, okay. Hmm. What about the bait shop? Maybe we can get some bait, obviously, from the bait shop. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. Alright. Well, let's see. Where? Oh, where? Let's see. I think it's back this way. Ah, the 3D graphics. They're always odd. <laughs> Alright. Let's see if we can navigate this a little bit better. Okay. Let's go check out the bait shop. Is It's all the way down here, I believe. Gotta go around this path. Hopefully we don't crash again today like we did before. This game's a, a little buggy. Alright. Let's enter the bait shop. And now... Let's see if we can get some bait. Let's pick it up. All right. Can we put it in? Let's use this in the scupper. Now my bait will stay fresh. All right. Uh, can we get more? All right. How? I don't know how much we need. Um. Uh, let's just see. I can't fit any more bait in there. Okay, well, I guess that's all we need then. So, let's go back. Alright, let's walk through the door. And let's head on back to the island. We should be able to lure the glowy fish. And there was like two things that we wanted to be able to see in the dark with. So we'll create ourselves kind of an underwater lantern. Uh, let's go out this way. Alright. And... Oh, not there. I don't want to go here. Let's go back here. Alright. Now, let's go down this way and dive in. Alright. Okay, so now... As soon as we land, we should be able to get this. So let's pick this up and see if we can use it on the fish. Come on, fishy fishy. I'm curious what we're standing on. It's making a mighty loud racket. We use the bait with the surface. That's funny. All right. Come on, back around, fishies. There we go. All right. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Indeed. You know you want the bait. All right. Nice. So now we can look around. Uh. I already have something in there. Oh. Oh, I. Oh, okay. So I have to hold it to see what I got. All right. So we got coral. Ooh, we got, uh, a secret door. Alright. Um, can we just go through it? Let's see. Yes, we can. Alright. Nice. It's the loot. It's a good thing I can hold my breath for ten minutes. <laughs> it's All right. the stolen booty from the bank. Well, let's get that right away. Alright, what else do we got? As soon as he gets all of his loot, that he's just magically disappearing into his pants. Hey, something just fell out of the chest. A tiny screw. I'll bet it goes to Pegnose's prosthetic nose. Now hmm. I can clear the good name of Guybrush Streetwood. Uh-huh. Alright, well. Let's get it then. Um... Can we, uh, put that aside? Okay, good. Now let's pick up the screw. Nice. 
All right. Um, I'm guessing. Are we going? It's beautiful. All right. I'm I'm wondering if we're going to have to like do something crazy, like throw the chest through the window. I just want to try it. These heirlooms are too valuable to waste on that. Okay. So never mind then. Stalactite, leave the cave. Let's leave the cave. Back into the water we go. Alright, now let's... Yep, there we go. Pull out our nightlight again. Alright. Now, let's... Um, go to the surface. Alright. Uh, let's head up. Nice. Alright, now if I can navigate off of these hidden pathways, we will head back to the jail. Alright. And see if we can clear our name finally. Alright. Well, let's see. Where do we want to go? It's not this way, I don't think. I think it's down this way. Alright, yes, the Hall of Justice. Alright. I want to save it though, because I want to make sure I'm going to go ahead and just save over beginning ones. Yes. Alright. Now let's go ahead and head in. I, I always want to save, because this is where it crashed last time. I don't want to have to do all that over again. <laughs> all right. Um, oh, okay. I was going to say, you seem to be missing something. Let's talk to Inspector Kennard. Okay. Um, well, here we go. We found the treasure. I recovered the stolen loot. Am I free now? That doesn't mean you didn't steal it. Okay. Um... We also have... Oh, Inspector, I think you'll find this interesting. What's this? It looks like a tiny screw. Indeed. I think you'll find it goes with a nose I gave you earlier. Oh, you do, do you? What makes you so sure, eh? It won't prove a thing. Quiet, you. Because it is nose. Perhaps we should give it a try. Yes. Yes, let. <laughs> oh, still you. He does not Why like you. This. Well, I'll be. Uh, let, let's see that screw. Mm -hmm. It doesn't fit. Quiet, you. If the nose fits, you must acquit. I've never <laughs> seen that screw before in my life. Quiet, you. Well, All right. right. I guess your name's been cleared. Let's Yay. see yours. Oh, um, right. <laughs> the anklet thingy. Hold on. Maybe I should do a background check on you. Just because you didn't rob the bank doesn't mean you aren't wanted for other more heinous crimes. Hi, hey, Are you kidding? Off. Quiet, you! <laughs> on the other hand, without the stigma of felonious robbery hanging over your head, you seem pretty harmless. So, off you go. Hey. Hey! <laughs> Uh oh! Oh no! And he's Young run away. Is that the society, Otis? Ha freaking ha! Time to make <laughs> sail, shipmates. Thank God, I hate this repressive place. Yeah. Yay! I was getting kind of bored. We can't. I have more repairs to make. Oh. Well, what? <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, okay. Ship's ready. You had me nervous there, my man. All right, let's go on back, man. There's so many aisles. Islands here. I wonder if we're gonna have to end up visiting them all or if they're just here for all flavor. Alright, ladies, stay here and watch the ship while I go into town. Yeah, you guys stay here while uh, Guybrush and I check out the floor. <laughs> if you get to go, I get to go. Scumbar, <laughs> here I come! Hey, if anyone here gets to go to the scumbar, it's me. Hey, <clears throat> please stay here and guard the ship. I'll be back soon. Jeez, we were just kidding. We were? <laughs> All right, now what are we doing? We're returning with this all the airlines. I'm afraid it is, Governor. Charles L. Charles' Good Times Free Grog campaign has given him a 23% lead in all the polls. But... Honey, I'm home. <laughs> Guybrush, uh, you're back. Yes, and look what I've got. Uh, oh, wait, that's not it. All right. 
Oh, Guybrush, this is wonderful. Esteban, take these papers down to Melee Town Hall and save my mansion. Oh, Guybrush, I am so glad you're back. What took you so long? Well... Well, that's a funny story. It all started when I went looking for the no-nosed pirate. <laughs> And then Ozzy said, I'm gonna put your shrimp on me body. <laughs> After that, I was attacked by an army of koalas. An army of koalas? And so the lawyers what? used the Marley Mansion deed to drop the legal papers to save the mansion. Then I came back here. Well, seems like the sensible thing to do would be to destroy my grandfather's heirloom so that no one could get their hands on the ultimate insult. Hmm. Or whatever that is. I agree. Got a match? <laughs> uh... Charles, or we could you use the weasel. Get out of my house insult. before I stick my piranha poodles on you. Yikes. No, now, my dear Mrs. Marley. Three point. Is that any way to talk to the next governor of Melee Island? I don't, don't care what the so polls confident. say. The pirates of Melee will see through your tissues of false hopes and empty promises. <laughs> but will we? The pirates of Melee couldn't see through a window. They can't even see what's right in front of them. Hmm. What are you talking about? Why, only the biggest lie of... Oh, the Chuck, of course. <laughs> the Chuck! <laughs> the Chuck! At your service. Of course Never it would be. Are we surprised? Win. <laughs> How do you expect to be elected once I tell everyone you're really LeChuck? Go ahead, tell them. Shout it from the rooftops. It will only ensure my victory. And once I'm elected, I'll use my gubernatorial powers to divine the secrets of the ultimate insult. Huh? You heard me. The ultimate insult. With its unholy power, I'll make the seas run red with the blood of my enemies. I'll bring the forces of hell to the shores of the Caribbean. And I'll finally make a lane. My willing he just bride. can't decide what he wants to look like. <laughs> well then. And plus everyone would probably oh, yeah? think we're crazy. Well, you fight like a cow. <laughs> you fight like a cow. Enter the manatee act two. Alright. Nice. Alright. I'm confused. About what? Uh, how can LeChuck be alive? What is the ultimate insult? And why are LeChuck and Ozzy Mandro after it? What do your grandfather's heirlooms have to do with all of this? Well, how can LeChuck be alive? Exactly. Relatively speaking, of course. I, don't I mean, know. this is like the third game we've defeated him in, right? Or this is the fourth game, so. What is the ultimate insult? And why are LeChuck and Ozzy Mandrill after it? I don't know. Well, I've got a plan. I know I'm going to regret asking this, but what, what is, is it? it? <laughs> uh, let's hide in the mansion until this whole thing blows over. Why don't I run for governor while you try to figure out the mysteries of the ultimate insult? Let's work together to find out the secret of Big Whoop. Um, hmm. What would he say? I think he'd divert. Let's work together to find out the secret of Big Whoop. Oh. Which, Sorry, is it gonna script. finish my, the my problem plan. at all? Well, now here's my plan. I'll redouble my efforts to keep LeChuck out of the governor's mansion, which should okay. be a lot easier now that I know he's really an evil undead demon from heck. In the meantime, why and don't you, you do deed? everything you can to stop Ozzy and LeChuck from getting their hands on the ultimate insult? Yes. Or whatever that is. Uh, okay. How? You gotta if do I were that. you, honey, I'd talk to the voodoo lady. She always seems to know about these things. But of course. Have fun fighting the bad guy, Schnookums. <laughs> All right, off this we go is what then. It's like being a first lady. A first lady. Can we take anything here? Uh, let's see. Is there anything here we might need? Do anything with the pen? It looked like there was a letter on the table, but I guess we can't really do anything with that. Okay. Well, then let's go talk to the voodoo lady. I'm sure she'll be thrilled to see us again. All right, it's been so long since I've been on Melee Island. Let's see if I can remember how to get back to the map. All right. At least this time I know how to sprint, so jump off the cliff. Yeah, all right, cruel world. Just kidding. Oh, there's a lane. Oh, I thought we were, like, going to pause. All right. Let's see. She's right here. 
Alright, house of voodoo. Alright. Nothing happened. Uh, ring finger? Nothing happened. Alright, it's uh. Just pull the finger. There we go. <laughs> pull? Ah, Guybrush. We're I back! You'd return. How can I help you? Um, let's see. What do you know about this ultimate insult doohickey that everyone's talking about? I'm still slightly clueless. I'm still in the market for a voodoo drenched deus ex uh, mach I don't know how you pronounce that. Deus ex machina? Machina? I don't know. That'll save the proverbial day. Maybe I should do that so I can hear how he pronounces it. I can tell that you're still interested in my voodoo wares. Did you have anything in particular in mind? Uh, let's see. I think we've already done all that. On second thought, I probably shouldn't be shopping at a time like this. True. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's ask about I this, see of that course. You are finally ready to ask me about the ultimate insult. Indeed. Yeah. What would you like to know about it? Okay. What is it? Uh, how do I make an ultimate insult? Where can I find it? I sense that you want to know what the ultimate insult. I mean, it seems is. pretty self-explanatory. The ultimate insult is the most coveted and dangerous voodoo item the world has ever known. Really? More coveted and dangerous than the indescribable terrors of Big Whoop? Twice as coveted Goodness. and five times <laughs> as dangerous. Yowie. What does it right. do? It is a powerful talisman that allows its owner to spew incredibly foul insults. Insults? That's all? <laughs> it would be a potion that turned people inside out or something. But these are no ordinary insults. Inside out insults, potion? Sweetwood. These are insults spoken in an ancient, forgotten tongue. Insults so vile, so emotionally crippling, that they transform even the fiercest of pirates into an egoless mass of goo permanently. Wow! Really? Well, wait a minute. If the insults are in a forgotten language, how come they're so dangerous? Wouldn't that have the same effect as insulting me in Finnish? You'd think that, <laughs> wouldn't you? But the language used by the ultimate insult is so is it magical ancient language? that it's rumored to be the primal language, the tongue from which all other languages arose. Amplified by the voodoo magics of the ultimate insult, uh -huh. this original language has the power to speak to the very heart of a person's soul and Ooh. mock it into oblivion. <laughs> Whoa. Mock it Indeed. into oblivion. All right. Well, let's see. How do we make I one? I see that you want to know how to make an ultimate insult. Yes, yes, that we do. That would be useful. Sadly, I have no idea hmm. how to make an ultimate insult talisman. That's strange. You've always seemed to be the master of all things voodoo-like. Yes, but the ultimate insult was outlawed dozens of years ago in the hmm. aftermath of a terrible battle between two ultimate insult-wielding hoon guns that <laughs> shattered the egos of an entire chain of islands. Wow. That's awful. And bad for business. As a face-saving gesture, the United Voodoo Workers of the Tri-Island area agreed to gather up and destroy all known copies of the ultimate hmm. insult recipe, lest one ever be assembled again. Okay. I see that you want to know where to find the makings of an ultimate insult. I mean, surely it's to gotta it be around As I say, somewhere. The instructions to build an ultimate insult have been destroyed. However, I seem to recall that the individual pieces of an ultimate insult can only be found on one island. Monkey okay. Island? Mm obvious. It was some <laughs> other island entirely. Okay. Unfortunately, this island's name has also been lost to the vagaries of time. Hmm. Okay. Um. Very well. So how do we find the name of the island? I don't need any okay. more of your enigmatic hoodoo right now. As you wish, Guybrush. I'll be here later. Alright, so... There's just a voodoo doll sitting over here. Can we take that? Uh, let's see. What does she have? We can't do anything with this uh, voodoo doll on the floor, it doesn't look like. Um, streaky fluid. Alright. Hmm. Alright. 
Well, now what do we do? So, um... Good afternoon, citizen. I'm Mele Island Governor Elaine Marley. She's going around to town. Do we still have the heirlooms? We do. What if we... What if we show them to her? Because those are supposed to be the key to it, right? Uh, let's... No, uh, let's go ahead and do this. Get her back. You fool. All right. Ah, Guybrush. I knew you'd return. How can I help you? Um. Oh. Okay. Well, let's just say I'm still slightly clueless. I can see that you're still fumbling for direction. <laughs> yes. Um. How can I help Elaine win her re-election? That depends. What do you know about politics? Absolutely nothing. Then, short of stuffing the ballot box, <laughs> I don't see how you can help her. Great! Better get a stuffing. But if you get caught, the Melee Town Council will string you up, stuff you with crawdads, and let pirates whack you like a piñata. Uh, I don't think I like that idea. Perhaps it would be best if you steered clear of the election. Okay, so, let's see. Actually, I think I can figure out what to do next all by myself. Very well. All right. Um, let's. Okay, so there we go. What do the Marley heirlooms have to do with the ultimate I insult? Sense that you want to know the connection between the Marley heirlooms and the ultimate insult. Of course we Stop do. Doing that, but you're <laughs> right. This chest contains Grandpa Marley's heirlooms. Yes. According to Grandpa Marley's letter, his wedding presents to Elaine hold the key to assembling the ultimate insult. But there's so much stuff in these heirlooms that it's hard to separate the presents from the junk. Ah, yeah, that's true. Use the voodoo power to help us figure it out. Voodoo forces at work here. Weddings, nice. nuptials, bands of gold. Reveal to us a gift that's old. Hey, a pair of earrings. Nice. Lacy veils and prenups too. Show us the symbol of something new. Oh, is it gonna be something Ooh, old, something new, something borrowed, Bright something blue? Tinged with jealous sorrow, bring to light a present borrowed. It is. Now we gotta no find change. something blue. What kind of present is that? <laughs> One heart beats where once were two. The final gift is something blue. <sighs> Not here. Oh, the final gift is something blue. Is something wrong? Yes. There should be a fourth wedding gift in here. A blue wedding not. gift. But my mystic senses detect nothing. Maybe it's still on the Island. I don't think so. Hmm. My voodoo instincts tell me it's somewhere on Melee Island. Okay. I'm curious. So we gotta find. All right, do you have any idea where I can find the blue wedding present? Do you have any idea where I can find the blue wedding present? Only that it's somewhere on Melee Island. Hmm, okay. What am I supposed to do with the wedding presents? If Grandpa Marley was telling the truth, they hold the key to finding the ultimate insult. But how? If it were me, okay. I'd find the woman who wore those earrings. Alrighty, let's see. Well, I don't need let's any more go look for a blue right wedding now. present then. Skybrush. I'll be here later if you need me. Okay. So let's go see if we can find a blue wedding present. Oop, oh, Elaine. Elaine, let's talk to you. What is it, dear? I'm kind of busy right now. Um, let's see. I talked to the voodoo lady about the ultimate insult. Well, what did she say? She said it was an ancient voodoo talisman capable of permanently shattering the souls of pirates. Yikes! Huh. I wonder a couple of warped cretins like LeChuck and Ozzy want to get their hands on it. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. The voodoo lady found Grandpa Marley's wedding gifts. Really? Let me see. Ugh, what was my grandfather thinking? His earrings, they're way too big, and they're made of wood. The necklace is okay, I guess, but this pan looks like it was stolen from earrings the Earrings of wood? Hmm. Maybe these gifts really do hold the secret of the ultimate insult. They clearly weren't intended to be proper wedding gifts. <laughs> All right, um... Well, I'm off to find the ultimate insult. Try not to get killed and or cursed, dear. We'll, we'll, we'll try. We'll try. Um... I think this one... Yeah, okay. So this one just goes around. Let's head this way. Um... want to make sure to save it. Whee! All right. Let's go in here. 
And let's see if we can find any more information. I don't even know what is in here. Thank you for your oh. time, citizens. And remember, vote oh, okay. for Elaine Marley on Election nowhere. Day. All right. Let me go around this way. Maybe we can go... Um, let's see. Come on. Oop. All right. Well, let's go around this way. There's got to be people we can talk to. All right. Well, we can't go in there. That's not helpful. Was there anything down here? I forget. Nope. Okay, so we can't go down the dock that's coming towards us. Uh, Luomar? Did I go there before? I don't remember. Maybe I did. All right. We'll see. Great pictures of Grog! You've done something horrible to the scum bar! I was Welcome gonna to say! The bar. I'll be right with you. Oh man. This is quite. Uh, wow. Those are some bizarre looking drinks. Alright. They're cheap, crummy, mass produced wooden chopsticks. Okay. Oh, well, can I take the, the beverage? No thanks. Give me a grog over this stuff any day. What about this? Ah, okay. I got the chopsticks. Nice. Alright. Um, let's talk to this lady. Pardon me. Yes? Um, let's see. Do you know what they did to the scum bar? Scum bar? What's that? It's what this place <laughs> used to be before they redecorated it. It was dark, dingy, smelled like grog gone bad. Sounds disgusting. I wonder yeah, why they it changed great. it. <laughs> All right. What's good to eat here? Do you like sushi? I'm sure I wouldn't. Mm, you need to ease into it, though. Order <laughs> something that isn't raw to start with. And then work your way to the good stuff. Good oh, boy. Stuff. I hope by that you don't mean the stuff that looks like it lived in the bilge of a ship last week. Ooh, <laughs> Nagi. <laughs> That's the best. Um, all right. You aren't from around here, are you? Does it show? When I travel, I try not to look like a tourist. I like to really get to know the place I'm visiting. Then this is the wrong place. You should be yeah, down by the real. docks, working the ships, drinking grog. This is not <laughs> much fun. This is plenty authentic enough for me. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Sure. All right. Um, what if we ask her about the earrings? Let's see. I mean, maybe. Well, I don't think she'd like that. All right. Never mind. Um, let's see. What was that? Look at the strange tropical beverages. Alright, I think that's all that's over here. What do we got over here? Hello? Excuse me. Why, hello. Great getup. What do you mean, great getup? Whoa, you look really authentic. Just like okay. a, you know, a real swashbuckler. Do you work here? No, uh, I am no. a real swashbuckler. <laughs> My wife's the governor. I'm a mighty pirate captain. Whoa, you really get into character. All right. Um, What's good on the menu? Uh, I like everything. Really? That sushi stuff looks pretty gross, if you ask me. <laughs> well, that, Sushi's that great. I don't like it either. But everyone else is eating it. You know, after all, isn't that what real pirates eat? I've heard the flaming mm. scuttlefish is the no. way to go if you don't like sushi, though. All right. Did you know this place used to be a real pirate bar? Really? More than this? Oh, yeah. They had real grog, real pirates, and real fights. Whoa, uh -huh. sounds great. But, uh, what's grog? Uh, <laughs> never mind. Enjoy your stay. Yeah, thanks. All right, what about what's this? Can we do anything with that? Look at the stuffed pig. Gross pig. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. This little tag says it's... Pork sashimi? This pig isn't cooked? Ugh. Gross. I gave a raw pig a long time ago. <laughs> Alright, what about the waitress? Excuse me, miss. I'll be right with you. Why don't you have a seat first? Can we sit down? I don't think we can. Let's see. What if we go over this way? Is there anywhere we even can sit down? Well, let's try going through uh, the kitchen. Maybe we can go through now. So, Palor, you are not allowed back here. Or not. Close the door before I whack you in the nugget. <laughs> <laughs> huh? All right, never mind. All right, is there even a place? Maybe, maybe we can sit down over here. All right, um, let's see. Look at the bar stools. These bar stools have flowers on them. Somehow that just doesn't seem right. 
It's a painting. Curious. It seems to be made out of wax. Can we take it? Hey, hey, don't touch that. That's an expensive collectible. Okay, so maybe maybe we can take it now. Let's see. But she's not here. I told you to leave that alone. Oh, okay. Let's see. Well, let's... I'm not picking that up. Let's see. is all wet. I better choose another one. All right. How about this one? All right. There we go. Okay. Look at sushi boat propulsion mechanism. There's some sort of mechanical stuff under the water that's making these boats go. Mm-hmm. All right. Now we can talk hey, to the waiters. Excuse me, miss. Um, miss? Can I help you? All right. What happened to the scum bar? Oh, we're under new management now. We've well, got obviously. away with all the pirates, swill, and wenches. Ugh. Why? But I liked the pirates. Oh, gross. <laughs> Nobody likes real pirates anymore. That's so last week. Why? But I like the swill. We've replaced that old swill with family-friendly fun beverages. We have quite a selection. But I like the winches. I like the winches. I mean, they, um... Made it so <laughs> Our decorators went for realism without the fright. They insisted that we replace the wenches with totems and bamboo. Drink sales totems are down, and but bamboo. we can turn the lights on again. Excuse me. Okay. Are waiting? All right. Excuse me, miss. I wonder if we can order something and make her go to um, the kitchen. Miss? Can I help you? Well, let's see. I'm a mighty thirsty pirate. I'm a mighty thirsty pirate. What can I get you? Um, let's see. <laughs> I'll have a grog. A grog, please. I sure could go for a nice grog. Yeah, I could sure go for a nice grog. We don't have that, but we do have a fine selection of tropical drinks. What? Ew. No grog? <laughs> I'm not sure what that is, but I know we don't carry it. Can I interest you in a fine tropical drink? They come with cute little umbrellas. Oh, boy. What kind of umbrella drinks? Well, we have Let's a see. few specialties. Deep Blue Sea with a Coral Reef Chaser, Monkfish Mango Madness, and Barnacles and James Brine Cooler. Okay. But I really wanted a grog. Looks <laughs> like you've maybe had too much already. If you don't calm down, I'll have to cut you off. <laughs> what kind of bar doesn't serve grog? I've been serving drinks in bars for months. I've never known a bar to serve grog. But that's well, all I mean, you've been you. doing it what for else months. Can get you? I'll let you think about it. All right. Um, can you recommend something from the menu? Oh, the sushi is all very good. Our of course. Our is one of the best there is. Um, what sushi? Are you for real? Everyone's eating it these days. Okay, it's raw fish artistically prepared with natural ingredients from the sea. That sounds pretty gross. Well, we okay. do have a heated dish for the less trendy people like you. Try the <laughs> flaming scuttlefish. Okay. Can I order some food? Sure. What can I get you? Let's see. Um, do you have anything that's cooked? Well, that's gonna be the the flaming the scuttlefish. Sushi, dog. Oh, and something called the flaming scuttlefish. I'll have that. <laughs> Excellent choice, sir. We're required to say that your order will be up shortly. Okay. Now let's see. As soon as she leaves. All right. Now let's see if we can take it. I told you to leave that alone. Aw. She's not gonna do it. Alright, so. Nah, real pirates don't drink anything that pretty. <laughs> Aw, how cute. Little itty bitty boats floating around carrying itty bitty pieces of something that appears to be edible. Alright, um, let's see. Look at the square tray. There appears to be a minuscule meal set on this silly square shaped tray. I wouldn't feed a squirrel. What's the point? Okay, let's see. Um. What can we do with this? I'm not picking that up. No, those chains and metal stuff look pretty sharp. I better try jamming it with something else. Okay, what do we have? What can we jam it with? Chopsticks? We can do it with chopsticks. Alright. There we go. Darn. The chopsticks were too weak. They just hmm. snapped right in half. Okay, maybe we can get... Excuse me, miss. Maybe we can get some stronger chopsticks. Um, miss? Can I help you? Um, let's see. Never mind. No, thanks. I'm fine. Then excuse me. I have customers waiting. Okay. Um, 
don't have anything else. We have a pin on a chain? Okay, we could try that, right? Um, maybe? That's a good idea, but it doesn't look sturdy enough to jam the mechanism, and I'd hate for it to break. Okay. Well, let's see. May I guess we'll have to get up and just go look around and see if we can find any other kind of chopsticks. Ah. What else do we have? Okay, a little disorienting. Uh, let's see. Alright, can I come over here and get some more chopsticks? Any, any more I can get? No, okay. Well, can, what happens if we go up here? Okay, um, ball, bar stool, no. What if we I'll use just it? sit over here. Or I won't. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go ahead, if I can, get out of here. Come on, move, lady. You're blocking my way. Can you move? Shoo! Finally. <laughs> Alright. She's like, no, you can't leave. Well, let's head on out. Let's see what else we can do. Maybe there's some more people to talk to, because no more scum bar. Alright. Let's see what else we got on Melee Island. Maybe we can find some more people to talk to. Alright. Um, what do we got down here? Uh, Alright. What if we tell them there's no more... Is there something there? Hmm. Looks like someone has been buying some grogs lately. I bet so. Let's look at that. Hey, there's a quarter in here. Yay! Oh, I'm not picking that up. Oh, I meant the quarter. Let's get the quarter. Can I'm we... rich. Can we I'm use rich. the quarter? Use the quarter with the grog machine. Maybe? It's jammed. Stupid grog machine. <laughs> <laughs> Kick it. Uh. Punch it. Ah. <laughs> Shake it. Ah. Yell at it. <laughs> Give me back my quarter. <laughs> or that works. Now let's pick up the cans of grog. All right. Can we drink a can of grog? Guybrush, what did I tell you about drinking grog? Uh, <laughs> Guybrush, Ulysses, three foot. No grog <laughs> until my errands are finished. <laughs> All right, let's put it up. Let's go tell them what's happened. Let's see. I'm sorry to tell you guys what happened to the others. Uh, where did everyone go? Hey there, Mr. Cheese. Ahoy. Uh, yeah, where did they go? Where's Carla? I'm right here! Where? She's on scupper cleaning duty. It's not fair! Uh, All this okay. cheats! I was witness. They beat you fair and square. <laughs> What's Carla complaining about? Oh, she and Otis played a round of insult rock, paper, and scissors to see who would have to clean the scuppers. She lost. There's no such thing as an illy whacker. That's what I tried to tell that Australian <laughs> jerk. But it didn't work for me either. All right. Well, where did Otis wander off to now? Oh, he's around here somewhere. I told him not to leave the shipyards. All right. Um, there's something I need to tell you about the scum bar. What might that be? Uh, it's doing fine. Nothing to worry about. Someone broke all the windows. It was burned to the ground. It's doing fine. Nothing to worry about. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> oh, it's his bar. I forgot. How are things down here? Quiet. Too quiet. Okay. Um. 
Charles L. Charles? Did we find anything out? You'll never guess what I found out about that Charles L. Charles character. What? He's actually LeChuck in disguise. Oh, yeah, that guy. Okay, How okay. How about that? Aren't you surprised that Charles L. Charles is really LeChuck? Are you kidding? That was foreshadowed from the start. <laughs> Have you ever heard of something called the ultimate insult? It wouldn't have anything to do with being beaten in insult arm wrestling by a spaghetti-armed pirate wannabe, would it? Um, no. I don't know <laughs> nothing about it. <laughs> All right, let's see. There's something else I need to tell you about the scum bar. Now what? Someone broke all the windows. Ah, that happens all the time. The good salty sea breeze actually helps freshen the air inside a bit. Okay. What There's up? something else I need to One tell more you about thing we can tell. Now what? It was burned to the ground. That's a good one. Three <laughs> I think I would have heard something if that happened. Okay. I should get back to work now. Work? Is that what you call it? Yes. Yes, that is what I call it. All right. Now, let's get back out there. Okay, so we talked to everyone here. We got our can of grog. Maybe we can use that. At um, the Lua Bar. Let's see, what else do we got? Let's go up over here. And then we'll go to the other one. Oh, yeah, this is Nico's house. House of Wax. I wonder if we'll be able to get the painting somehow. Maybe we'll be able to get something to jam the mechanism, get the painting for him. Maybe he'll need that. Um, for something, I don't know. Hey, me up. Let's see. Disturb me up. Meat hook. Guy brush. I'd heard you were killed by a giant clam. Eh, stories were exaggerated. <laughs> Rumors. Rumors of my death have been greatly exaggerated. Exactly. <laughs> Not much celebrated. <laughs> what? Oh, nothing. Uh, <clears throat> what brings you to my humble loft, old friend? Um, uh, let's see. I thought we could catch up on old times. What's with all the candles? I'm looking for something called the ultimate insult and I could use your help. Um, let's see. Straight to the point. I'm looking for something called the ultimate insult and I could use your help. How can I help? Well, do you, you know, know what it is? Do you have idea what the ultimate insult is? Not a clue. Maybe <laughs> you should ask the old voodoo lady. She's got well, stuff I did, like that. I did. Do you know what the ultimate insult looks like? Nope. I mean, he doesn't even know what it is. I'm looking for Grandpa Marley's fourth wedding present. Why? Because it'll help me find the island of the pieces of the ultimate insult. Exactly. Why? Many years ago, when I was a child prodigy using conventional watercolors, Grandpa Marley hired me to paint him a map of the Tri-Island area. He said okay. it was going to be a wedding present for his granddaughter. Unfortunately, he left for Australia before I finished it. Where's that painting hmm. today? I don't know. When I began working with wax, I painted over all the old watercolors. I just couldn't stand looking at them anymore. I think hmm. I covered Marley's map with some sort of landscape. I, I bet it's the, yeah, that's the one at the little part. Oh, no. My waxy creations are sold faster than I can produce them. Molly's map could be anywhere by now. Darn. So, okay. Um, Do you think that the map you painted for Grandpa Marley is really the fourth wedding present? It seems likely. And you really don't know where it is? All I know is that it's out there, somewhere, with a beautiful waxy landscape painted over it. Okay, so, um... We've got... I, I know I where it is. I think I'll plumb this, this ultimate insult mystery on my own. Okay. Anything else? Um, let's see. What's with all the candles? I use them to create me art. Your art? I didn't know you had an art. Oh, yes. As a child, I was one of the foremost watercolor painters in the Tri-Island area. See? Here are me old paint brushes. Yeah, okay. Nice. Maybe we can take I one of those paint brushes. But after I lost me hands in... The accident. I just sort of drifted into piracy. Hmm. I didn't really like being a pirate, but what else could I do? I was a painter with no hands. <laughs> so how did you end up painting with wax? Well, after my traumatic experience on Monkey Island, sorry, I decided that I didn't want to be a pirate no more, and resolved okay. to return to the world of art. 
Well, to make a long story short... Too late. One night, <laughs> I discovered that I could create paintings from the wax drippings of coloured candles impaled on me hooks. Since then, I have been known to art lovers everywhere as Meat Hook, Master of Wax. That's the oh. silliest story I've heard okay. in hours. In hours. All right. Let's see. Do you sell a lot of these wax dripping paintings? They're selling like wildfire. Which oh is ironic. Why? Because if you put them next to a wildfire, they They'll melt. melt. <laughs> <laughs> of course they do. All right. The humor of the artistic elite has always escaped me. <laughs> I thought we could catch up on old times. Like what? Let's see. How did you and Carla and Otis escape from Monkey Island? Yeah, you and Carla and Otis. Escaped from Monkey Island. <laughs> Same way you did, of course. On Herman's hidden pirate ship? Herman had a ship. <laughs> that jerk never told us. I uh, <laughs> guess we didn't escape the same way you did. <laughs> if you didn't use Herman's ship, how did you? Escape from Monkey Island. <laughs> I love how he keeps using. I don't the want to talk about it. Crazy oh, come on. No. Ah. Whatever happened to your parrot? You mean the beast? Oh, we died. Hunger? Loneliness. Aww. A parrot without someone to talk to is a sad parrot. Poor parrot. Do you still do that thing you do? I don't know what you're talking about. You know, that funny thing you do. Come on, do the funny thing you do. I still don't know what you're talking about. Let's see. You know, that thing you do with the talking and the face. If you don't want to do the funny thing, just say so. What are you talking about? <laughs> you know, the thing with the tattoo. Ow! Oh, you mean this? Let's see. Hello, guy brush. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> On second thought, I really don't have time to reminisce. That's Fine funny. by me. What do you want to talk about? All right, let's see. Nothing important. Go back to what you were doing. Thanks. All right, can we... Let's see, he's got his paintbrush here. Look at paintbrushes. All this right. This paintbrush seems pretty solid. Let's go ahead and yoink it. All right. Nice. Now we can go back to the Lua bar and shove this in the mechanism, maybe distract the waitress long enough to yank that painting off the wall. Hopefully. We'll see. Let's see. Head on back and see if that will in fact work it because it'll definitely be stronger than the chopsticks. It shouldn't chop it in half immediately. All right. Uh, oh, wait, not here. I want to go to the town. Whoopsie daisy. All right, melee town. In we go. Convenient that the Lua bar is right here. All right. Let's go sit down again. Hello. All right, let's sit back down in our seat. All right, and let us get the paintbrush. And let's use it in the propulsion mechanism. Yay. What is this? The boats, they are stopped. Mm-hmm. Uh oh, I better move before he sees what I did. Oh boy. La la la. I guess that means we can go in the kitchen. What in the name of I feel? Oh, here is Let's the problem. See if so we can... smart Alec has jammed the works. All right, what if, is there a special boat here? Let's see. What do we got? Uh, look at the mm, steam generator. Warm. What can we do? Mm, warm. Okay. Um, look at the pineapple. They'll use pineapple in sushi dishes. No, nah, I've had enough citric acid for a while. Pot of fishy soup. Come on. If I could face it, that would be great. There we go. <laughs> smells like my laundry. I don't want to get fish stew stains on my pants. All right, what about the fish? Mm, fishy. Uh oh. Uh oh. <gasps> Sacre fou! <laughs> what are you doing in my kitchen? Oh no! Uh, looking for a menu. 
What are what what are the specials? You're looking for a menu. What are the specials? Out! 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 <laughs> Alright, so can we do Oops, that again? Sorry. Alright. Well, let's see if we can do it again. Uh do we have it sitting over here? Uh ah, okay, good, we do. Alright, now let's jam it again. I think it might have been the sushi sign on the left side. Alright. not again! Alright. Uh oh. I better move before he sees what I did. Alright. Alright. Let's head on into the kitchen. I do not understand. Why do the boats keep stopping? What are these brushes doing here? <laughs> All right, look at the picture of the I Eiffel Tower. All French chefs are issued pictures of the Eiffel Tower when they... Nah. Uh, read the sushi to recipe. To make the Lua Bar special alligator roll, take two slices of raw alligator. Ugh, that's pretty gross. Can we take that? I don't want that recipe. That? Elaine might get her hands on it. Uh, let's see. What else can we do? Wait, look at something. Wait, look at the flour sack? Mm. I bet you could fit a body in these sacks. I don't think I'll be baking any pastries anytime soon. Um, all right, what about the monkeys? Uh, look at the brass mechanical monkey. Brass monkey. Brass monkey, monkey! Ooh, there's a rat oh, over there. Soir. Why do you still molest my kitchen? <laughs> I was just looking for the bathroom. Get hmm. out of my kitchen! Okay. All right, let's see. Let's sit down. Maybe we have to like order more food. Can you move? Lady. Please. Please. Thank you. Killing me. Alright, let's sit back down. Uh over here. Alright, sit down. Let's pick up our paintbrush. Can we Alright. Alright. What else do we got? We got the decorative art. That is the right one, the right? style of this painting. It seems very neat hooky. Okay. So now let's let's order that that flaming thing again. I mean excuse me, miss. It's a wax painting. Maybe we can melt it now. Um, uh, miss? Can I help you? Alright. What happens if we say we're I'm thirsty? A mighty thirsty pirate. What can we I got grog you? now. I'll have a grog. We don't have that. But we do have a fine selection of tropical drinks. What? <laughs> no grog? I'm not sure what that is, but I know we don't carry it. Can I interest you in a fine tropical drink? All it right. Cute little umbrellas. Maybe we can give her I'll a grog. Alright, can let's I order, order some food? food. Sure. What can I get you? What's the special? Sushi. Right. So we'll yeah. get oh, another... And called the Flaming Scuttlefish. Yes. We'll have that. Flaming Excellent Scuttlefish. Choice, sir. We'll nice. We'll require to say that. Your order will be up shortly. Okay. So now, let's pick this up, and let's have it ready to jam in when the boat is exactly opposite. So let's wait until our order comes around. There we go. We'll just wait until it goes around. Nice. Alright. A little bit closer. And... There we go. Oh, we missed it. Okay, so we'll have to do it a little oh, earlier next oh, time, I think. Mom, you, not again. Uh oh, I better move before he sees what I did. All right. Let's go into the kitchen again. I do not understand. Why do the boats <laughs> keep stopping? What are these brushes doing here? Well, you know, you keep leaving them out for me. Look at so what are we gonna do tomorrow night? The same thing we do every night. Try to take over the Caribbean. Ugh, no way. Who knows what kind of crevices it's been in? Look at the stove. I wonder what kind of yummy goodies are baking in there. Can we open I it? What kind of yummy goodies are baking in there? What do we have? Can we? Oh, I wonder. Can we put grog in something? Uh, let's see. Use the can of grog with no, the mechanical my grog. All right, can we put it in the fishy no, soup? No, my grog. Oh, okay. 
what can we do with this? Um. Up. Oh, time to go back. Why do you still molest my kitchen? All right. I think I lost my tour group. Get out of my kitchen before I make you a sushi dish. All right. So now let's go. Well, let's put this up again. Let's go back. All right. Uh, this 3D controls, I swear. All right. Let's go down. So we were a little too late last time. So I'll wait until maybe it rounds the corner, I guess. I'm not picking that up. These bar stools have flowers on them. Some of it just doesn't seem right. All right, let's. I'm not picking that up. I'll just sit over here. Sit, sit down. And then. All right, let's just run into the waitress. All right, and then let's pick up our paintbrush. All right, and then I'm going to be prepared to use it um, on the goat mechanism probably right as it maybe right as it's rounding the total pulp let's see if that works alright let's watch it we'll do it just before alright that may have been too soon. We may have to wait until right after, or right as it's on the totem pole. Uh oh, I better move before he sees what I did. All right. Well, let's see. Is there anything else to do in here? I do not understand. Why do the boats keep stopping? What are these brushes doing here? All right. Can we do anything? Like, can we take that cleaver? Flower sack. Oh. Can we take the flower sack? I think. I don't think I'll be baking any pastries anytime soon. Okay. Is there anything? Look at the sushi boat on the steam mm, generator. Warm. I don't want to burn myself. What can we do with it? Hmm. Maybe nothing. Because we probably can't use that on this. All right. Well, let's just head head on out. Uh, we were leaving. We oh, really Mrs. were. Why do you still molest my kitchen? Sorry. Health inspector, we have to have a talk about sanitation. Get <laughs> out of my kitchen before I make you a sushi dish. <laughs> sushi dish. All right. Come on, lady. Don't stand there. Thank you. All right. And let's sit back down. This use seat is all wet. I better choose another one. I meant to use this one. Well, might as well pick up the paintbrush while we're here. All right. Um. I guess I don't have to wait. Let's do it right there. Man, it's still too early. <gasps> Okay, so I guess you have to wait until just after. Uh oh. Right? I better move before he sees what I did. Alright. So let's wait. La la la. I do not understand. Why do the boats keep popping? What are these brushes doing here? Alright, pull it out, my guy. I guess we'll go into the Oh wait. Okay, he's gonna pull it out. Nice. Oh, we win! Ah, fix it again! Nice! Alright, now he'll go back to the kitchen, and then hopefully this time oh, we'll be able to get sorry. it. Sorry. Oh, Oops, sorry. <laughs> the collision in this game. Alright, let's pick up the paintbrush. Alright, let's get the paintbrush. Alright, so we gotta do it just after. Hopefully that'll be... If that's not... If that's not enough... Let's try it... Right now. Alright, that should be close enough, right? 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 Let's see. I better move before he sees what I did. Alright. Okay. I do not understand. 
Wild as the boat, keep pumping. What are these brushes doing here? Maybe, okay, so he keeps just immediately pulling it out. Maybe we can do something in here. What can we, what can we screw up in here? We need to somehow heat it up. Can we, um, can we add the grog to this? Um, maybe? There we go. Okay, okay. I thought I had tried that before, but I guess it wasn't quite enough. But that should maybe work more or no, less. Okay. So it slows it down a lot. Nice. Awesome. Nice. She's <laughs> Awesome. It is the map. It's the something oh, blue. Oh, my beautiful painting. Mm. She has ruined. Yay. You might as well take it. It is of no use to me now. Thanks. Yay. All right. Now we got the fourth relic. Awesome. All right. Let's look at it's it. It's a painting from Meat Hook's Blue Period, depicting what appears to be the entire tri island area. Awesome. All right, so let's go back to if I can like not run into totem poles. So maybe let's go back to the voodoo lady and tell her we found the fourth one. Or maybe she can do her voodoo magic and see if it's the fourth one. All right. So let's head on this way. And let's see what she says. Alright, let's go pull on the finger. Pull my finger. There we go. Pull? Ah, Indeed. Guy brush. I knew you'd return. How can All I right. help you? Um, let's see. Um What am I supposed to do with the wedding presents? If Grandpa Marley was telling the truth. They hold the key to finding the ultimate insult. But how? If it were me, I'd find the woman who wore those earrings. The woman who wore the earrings. Okay. So, how do we... Not maybe we, of your maybe we ask right Elaine about it? I'll be here later if you like, need. maybe she knows who wore them? Let's try going back to the mansion. Oh, there she is. Elaine! Wait. Shinogums? What is it, dear? I'm kind of busy right now. Um, let's see. Do you want to take another look at your grandfather's wedding gift? No, thanks. Put them to good use finding the ultimate insult. All they do for me is remind me of grandpa. It's times like this I wish I wasn't an insensitive much of my range. Okay. Well, well let, I guess I'm she's not going to help us. Try not to, to get killed and or cursed, dear. Oh, guy brush! All right. Let's not the necklace. Okay, the earrings. Let's look at them. They're a pair of old wooden earrings, and they're pink. I know, I know, I know, but it's pink. All right, we know what's pink. Run, Guybrush, run! All right, we're off to the docks because it's pink. Here we go. Go to the harbor. Run. All right. I see that the harbor mistress is gone. See? All right. The figurehead. Uh, let's see. That's the second most beautiful figurehead I've ever seen. Hey, she's got pierced ears. Uh -huh. Why would anyone put earrings on the ship's figurehead? Yep. All right. Here we go. Let's see what happens. All right, nice. Who, what, where? Oh, cripes, not again. You couldn't <laughs> just leave me alone, could you? Most pirates would be happy with a gorgeous and animate figurehead. But no, you had to stick those accursed voodoo earrings <laughs> into me. Well, here I am, an enchanted, talking, ticked off figurehead. <laughs> Everything you hoped for. Hey, a talking <laughs> figurehead. Hey, a talking monkey. 
<laughs> well, actually, I'm a mighty pirate captain. Besides, there's no such thing as a talking monkey. Thing is you. I've been everywhere in this cesspool of a tropical paradise, and I've seen everything. Much more than some grog likes will and nobody like you. Oh, boy. Um, okay. Well, I'll talk to you later. Suits me fine. Hey! Hmm. Who painted me pink? <laughs> she doesn't like it either. <laughs> um, figurehead lady? What? All right, let's see. What horrible abomination of nature gave you the ability to talk? You look kind of familiar. What's with the surly attitude? I have to go now. Let's say... You look kind of familiar. Perhaps you've seen me in your nightmares. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Yes, you have. Watch this. I'm the king of the world! Woo! Ah, <laughs> stop! That's the scariest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> All right, let's see. What horrible abomination of nature gave you the ability to talk? Damnedest thing. I cross tax with some old sea hag of a ship. How was I supposed to know she was carrying a cargo hold of voodoo root? So, <laughs> a bunch of mojo crap fell off her decks and I sailed right through it. Next thing you know, Im talking. Like you can oh anyway, squid for brains. <laughs> What's with the surly attitude? You'd be surly too if you're screwed to the stem of a ship. Good point. I guess so. All right. Um. Want to be my official ship? Want to be my anchor? <laughs> no, I guess I don't want to be an anchor. Well, then buzz off, son. You're blocking my view. <laughs> Did you mean that in the literal sense or the figurative? How's this for clarity? Make like a jellyfish and dry up on the beach. Wow. I'd make a better captain. How long were you a bellhop before you got promoted? How about dropping this <laughs> subject, toilet brush three bowl? Oh, man. Um, figurehead lady? What? All right. Ever heard of a voodoo talisman called the ultimate insult? Sure. What a... Do you know where it is? Do you know where it is? No. Do you know what it looks like? No. Let's see. I've heard it can emasculate the toughest of pirates. Really? Are you sure you've heard of it? I've never heard of your stupid ultra mint insult thing. I was just yanking your chain <laughs> hard. Oh, scrub off now, would you? Hmm. Is there anything we can give her? What if we, does she want like, what if we show her the map? Uh, let's see. Oh. Do you need me to carry that big, heavy picture for you? Yeah, do you mind? You know what else would look good on me? Your blood on my hands. <laughs> well, let's see. What if we give her the necklace? Does she want the necklace? A statuesque lady of your beauty should have a necklace. Oh, how sweet. You remind me of the daughter your parents never had. <laughs> All right, I'm now... I'm picking that up. Now can we give her the pin on a chain? All right. I guess we didn't do it in the right order. What is this compulsion you have to dress me up, you pantaloon freak? <laughs> Say, you don't happen to know anything about the ultimate insult, do you? I got your ultimate insult right here. Sounds like a big yes to me. Do you know where it is? How the poop deck should I know? Aha! Uh -huh. You got a load of this guy. Thinks just cause I'm attached to a ship, I know where every little two-bit piece of dirt of an island is. What a scupper licker. <laughs> Ooh, look at me. I'm Guybrush Three Thorns. I'm a mighty stupid pirate. Hmm. Let's see, what's, what's it gonna do? Okay, it marks the spot. Jambalaya Island? All right. Interesting. 
Well, I guess we're you know going. Like? I told you, you festering bucket of shark bait. <laughs> I don't know anything about your supposed ultimate insult. Look at you walking around like you've got a bow spread up your. Hey, what's this now? <laughs> Yikes, this looks complicated. Oh boy. This is your captain speaking. Prepare the ship for departure. Oh, great. Now, Again? where are we going? Jambalaya Island. Exactly. Home of the ultimate insult. Jambalaya Island. What kind of name is that? Can you get us there, Mr. Cheese? Aye. Oh, boy. Make it so. Really? <clears throat> <laughs> Aren't you forgetting something? Uh, oh, right. I forgot to kiss you goodbye. Clean underwear? Let's see. Clean underwear? Thanks. I almost forgot. You're welcome. No, you forgot to give the gubernatorial symbol back to me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here. All right. Well, I'm off to find the ultimate insult. Try not to get killed and or cursed, dear. We'll try. What? What? Hey, a talking monkey! <laughs> oh, ungrateful. <laughs> Mr. Cheese, wouldn't it be easier to sail around that typhoon on the horizon? <laughs> Where'd be the fun in that, Captain? Cry <laughs> havoc and let's slip the to dogs of war. Release the crowd! Not in the face! Not in the face! Oh, the <laughs> ship cannot stand the strain, Captain! Monkeys, monkeys! There's no place like home! There's no place like home! This was only supposed to be a three-hour tour! A three-hour tour? <laughs> well, that was a miserable journey. No cushy government job is worth this much grief. Welcome to Jambalaya Island, home of swashbuckling pirates and spooky voodoo curses. Oh and boy. And tacky theme restaurants. And tourists. Do I be hearing piped in music wafting through those artificial trees? Hmm. What are you guys talking about? This is a perfectly normal pirate town. Michael Gregory, <laughs> Planet it's Three been Wood. Completely what? Taken over by the corporate tourist industry. Oh, Gee, okay. Ozzy must have been really busy here. Oh, <laughs> I need a drink. I've got repairs to make. I'll stay here and um, uh, guard the ship. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I think that is where we are going to call it for today's episode. We found the way to Jambalaya Island, which uh, is the next part of our journey. So uh, we will continue on that journey next time and see what other adventures we have with our crazy crew. And maybe we can find out about the ultimate insult on Jambalaya Island. So if you like this kind of content, please make sure to like, subscribe, and follow. If you want to watch the live, we are here on Twitch at twitch.tv slash 27 I have my schedule in the About section. And if you want to see what games I am planning to play that day, I post them on twitter.com slash 27 And I hope that I will see you in the next one, guys. Until then, bye.